Hello everyone, this is a short video for students who are working on the advanced project now, Shop to Drop in 6th grade. So you should log into eBackpack like you normally would to find an assignment. You click on your class if it's not expanded here on the left. Um, you can see it says class of 2018, that's 6th grade, and then Shop to Drop, that's on the left. And then on the right here you'll notice that the information for the project is available to you to download. The first file is a .docx, that's a document in Word, that explains the project. So you can download that and print it or read it or both. It should be saved to your flash drive. You should create a folder first thing on your flash drive if you haven't already called shop to you drop or whatever you want to call it so you know what it is and then hit download. Now it, it's probably going to work a little bit differently on um, your computers in the lab and it's something we haven't been able to, to change but it may not give you the box it may just download it straight away and then if it does that then what you're going to want to do is um, when it downloads you'll there'll be a little drop down arrow you can click there and then you click show in folder and then you can copy that file from the folder wherever it is see here I could right click on this hit copy or cut either one will work uh, and then go to my flash drive over here and paste it into the correct folder. So download the information that you need and then download the Excel file again by clicking on the download button. You see it here on the far right of your screen and that's that will get the Excel spreadsheet. Now I've already done that so you can see what the Excel spreadsheet looks like here. The information in the top obviously needs to be corrected so you'll put your name and whatever date it is for you. Um, I have a sample item and I've put space for 10 items. You'll want between between 10 and 15, I wouldn't go uh, much more than 10. It keeps the project simple. And uh, so just try for 10. And again, as it says in the instructions, but I'll remind you here, try to keep the prices of the items pretty close together within a thousand dollars or so of each other. In other words, don't have a $5 item and then a $5,000 item. That's not going to work very well when we do the pie chart at the end. So by the way, you don't have to keep this PlayStation 4 bundle. That's just a placeholder. So you can put another object there. And uh, again, as you've hopefully learned by now, don't ever delete the picture, just replace it. So if you wanted to replace this, you'd right click, which you can't see me doing, but right click here and then do change picture to your new picture okay so you'd browse to your new picture and then put that in okay so I'm gonna add an item though because I actually do want the PlayStation 4 bundle it's still like that so I'm gonna put iPad uh, Pro and I think I already have that looked up over here still hopefully so yeah there it is okay so I already got the price on Apple.com already researched this so it's a thousand seventy nine dollars kind of amazing amount of money for that um, so I've got the price now a lot of times you can copy it. Oops. Uh, sometimes it's more trouble than it's worth. So I'm just going to type it in here for iPad Pro 2. I typed it in that cell. And then I'm going to do $1,079. And there it is. Okay, so I've got the price. Now I need the picture. So I go back to. Oh, by the way, sorry. Missed. In case you missed it, the total updated. That's one of the things that Excel will do for you if you're using the spreadsheet. So just leave everything in place, don't delete anything, and as you add items, the total will update for you. And again, you're shooting for somewhere between ten and fifteen thousand dollars as you spend money this time. Now to, um, so I'm looking for a picture, which I also need. So I've searched here already for iPad Pro images, and then I have used the medium, okay, under search tools, you can see it pops up. I've used the medium file size this time. You can go medium or large, or you can do larger than, and then maybe 1024 by 768. Gives you a really good image size. So that, oh, that's a nice picture. So that's looking good. Remember that we need the actual um, preview, not the thumbnail. So this is really small. So I've got to click on that. And you'll, you may notice this kind of comes into view here. It gets a little clearer. And then I'm going to go right click and save image as right here right click save image as I'm going to put that on my flash drive under the images folder if it comes up there okay so you'll see it's under my shop to you drop project which should be under images on your um, computer all right so I'll go back to Excel here now what you want to do is copy this placeholder so copy this one and then just paste it back into the spreadsheet and get it kind of lined up if you want so you've got two of them to start with and then you can replace right click and do change picture 
right? So I'm going to browse over to the picture that I already downloaded. I like this one and do insert. You'll notice it keeps it that same kind of nice small size, puts it in that square, which is what you want. Otherwise, if you just insert it, it's going to take up a bunch of pages and be a mess to clean up. So don't insert new picture, just copy and replace. So you can copy this one and replace it again, right? So I'm just going to paste it. Again, use this first paste option here and just kind of line them up, get your items, and you can make a couple columns. Okay, pasting another copy of that. So if you want, you can kind of lay it all out to start and then just replace the pictures as you go along or whatever you want. But just copy and paste this first one. Don't delete it, please. And then that'll make the project really easy. Go through, add, um, find your items. Again, don't waste a lot of time. Don't spend a lot of time searching for one particular thing that's like perfect. You have not a ton of time to do this, so you need to move quickly through our classes. We only have a few left. Once you get all the items in, uh, all 10 of them or more, then I will show you how to do a pie chart, which is really cool. It's super easy, and that'll pretty much complete the project. Okay, so good luck. Ask uh, Mrs. Seal if you have any questions or ask me, and I will see you guys again next week. Thanks for uh, watching, and good luck today.